This is the GBA synth, which is developed by Sprites Mods and available from Catskull Electronics. As you can see, it's tiny. Like the Gen MDM that I previously looked at, which enables you to control the sounds of a Sega Mega Drive slash Genesis with MIDI, the GBA synth can be used to control the sounds of a Game Boy Advance. In fact, it enables you to transform your Game Boy Advance into what I would refer to, for simplicity's sake, as five different soft synths, each one having different capabilities and enable you to create different sounds. All five of these can be controlled with a MIDI sequencer all at once, or you can control them with, say, a MIDI keyboard one at a time. The device just plugs into a Game Boy Advance multiplayer lead, with this MIDI DIN being attached to whatever you choose. No cart is needed. It uses the little used multi-boot feature of the handheld. There is already different software that you can use to create music on your Game Boy Advance, including popular ones like LSDJ and Nanoloop 2. If you use these already, you might wonder what else the Game Boy Advance synth can offer you. Unlike LSDJ and Nanoloop, there is no sequencer, although this looks like it may have been something built into the device originally. Catskill Electronics are quite open on their product page that this element does not currently work. The software that drives this reminds me of the uh, MGB software, which you can use to control your standard grey brick DMG Game Boy. Where this differs is as an extra channel, uh, a number of different features that are only possible through uh, a Game Boy Advance. The Game Boy Advance synth enables you to edit and save eight recallable banks of sounds for the five different soft synths. It does make very similar sounds to LSDJ and Nanoloop, but there are some notable differences, and I think you can get some sounds out of this that you probably couldn't out of those. Four of the soft synths are set as MIDI channels 1 to 4, and the fifth is on channel 10, although these default settings can be altered on an option screen. It also enables you to edit the effects of your sounds using MIDI CC, and handily mentions these on the screen. Before we delve into the sounds, it's worth noting that, um, like on LSDJ and Nanoloop, um, your, your sounds can be panned hard left, centre or hard right. It's also worth mentioning that there is an additional menu of LFO effects to further tweak the sounds of all these soft synths, but I'll return to that after we've looked at the different soft synths in more detail. The first soft synth is named Duo, a square wave pulse channel that provides very similar sounds to what you could achieve in LSDJ. In fact, you can change the square duty cycle just like in LSDJ to alter the tone of your sound. You can change the envelope length, and the glissando sound, aka the glide, with a couple of different modes and intensity lengths. It's seemingly called duo because you can play two note chords. There is also an arpeggiator function which you can control the speed of. You can use this for single arcade trills or arpeggiated riffs. But it's better being sequenced because it's not easy to switch between arpeggiated sequences live using your, your keyboard. Sounds great though, right? Next up, you have a sample channel in which you have eight sound waves to choose from. Square, triangle, saw, two times square, square glitch, harmonic, alternative square, and random. That's not actually the sound of random, this is. I might be missing something, but I'm not sure why this is called random. If you do, please leave a comment so that uh, so others know. Again, you can change the length and glide. I find you can get pretty good bass sounds from this particular channel. And lead sounds too. Once again, you can use the arpeggiator. Whilst being monophonic, this is my personal favourite channel. The third soft synth is another square wave channel, but unlike Duo, there are two options to pitch shift the sounds quickly. Sweep step size and sweep speed, which is great for creating thudding kick drum sounds. You can get sounds like this in other software, but I found it was easy to get a decent kick sound quickly using these options. The fourth soft synth is a polysynth, so you can play chords with it. It's worth noting that this does not recognise my sustain pedal, so you do have to jump between chords. You can increase the decay though, to the point that the notes will bleed over each other. You can also get some more abrasive sounds from this, or something more gentle that resembles a flute or an organ. 
The fifth and final software is your basic uh, noise channel, which you'll be familiar with if you're already making gypsy music. It can be used for hi-hat, uh, snare and, and crash sounds. You can change the bit rate here and it makes a big difference, opening up the potential sounds you can create using this feature. I mentioned about the extra LFO option screen earlier. You can set three effects at once in here for the same soft synth or several. There are a surprising number of options in here and this video could easily become a 20 minute video of me just messing around with them. So instead I will just select some choice sounds so you can see what it's capable of. If you want further examples or you want me to go into further depth with it, let me know. <laughs> Those who already use LSDJ will be interested to know that yes, you can control this using LSDJ's MIDI out feature. Get a couple of Game Boys and you have potentially eight channels of sounds to play with live. This would be a great way to add some of the kick sounds of the GBA synth or the sample channel bass as extra layers using the NOQ command in LSDJ. I've already made some tutorial videos in the past which I've linked to below showing you how to use LSDJ to MIDI control different devices which you can try out with this. Someone got in touch with me recently, a piano player who was uh, looking for software or a device that could be used to make a chip tune that didn't mean that they had to learn new software like LSDJ. This is just it's just plug and play and you can noodle away on a keyboard instantly so it's great for someone who wants to have chip tune in a live set say but they, they, they don't want to go and learn a tracker or something like that. It's it's so easy to use and as you've heard you can get a wide variety of sounds out of it. Um, there's an alternative of course in MGB uh, which is, is similar in a lot of ways. I'd say this has more sound capabilities but MGB it does have the fact that you can control the, the iconic Game Boy with it. Have you used one of these before? If so, please do post your music below this video because I'd like to hear it and, uh, and I'm sure that other people watching would like to as well. Uh, in the meantime, here is another short clip of something that I've created using it just to give you uh, like a, some more idea of what it's capable of. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon.